Alright, what's up guys? This is going to be a local recording. Recording about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You saw my unboxing video. You saw the, the phone. It's a big phone. It's like a 6.4 inch AMOLED display. Samsung. It's got the S Pen. It's got all the cool stuff. Um, sorry, I don't have a close up shot that do for you, but when you pull the S Pen out, you get a special menu. So you can take notes, write on it, do cool stuff, draw if you're really artistically inclined. You can make hearts really easily. And actually, check this out. It's got a button that you can press, and it's actually Bluetooth. Don't know if you can see that, but... So this phone, I uh, needed a case for it because it's... It's got the glass back, so it's a fingerprint magnet. So I got um, this case off Amazon. 16 bucks, 16.99. If you got Amazon Prime, two-day shipping. It's called the uh, what the hell's it called? The Samsung Note 9 iBlazon Aries Series full-body rugged clear bumper case with built-in screen protector for Samsung Galaxy Note 9. It comes in black, blue. Like a goldish color and a rose gold, like or pink. Fully functional screen protector built directly into the front of the case, so you don't need another screen protector. It actually has a screen protector built in. So I don't feel like me, and if you have problems putting on screen protectors or don't like to, so and the cool thing too is that this one actually wipes off with a cloth really easily. I've had my keys in my pocket with the phone in there. Hasn't scratched the screen. So, nice and smooth. This this case is actually pretty solid. It's uh, It's got plenty of room for the phone. There's actually, you can see the fingerprints for the phone before I put it in the case. I didn't even take the sticker off like I should have. So, um, this case is a, a great case. Um and not get anything from it, but I was looking for a cheaper case because, as you know, most cases that are rugged, like LifeProof, OtterBox, they're going to be like $50, $60. So it's what, you know, you're already paying almost $1,000 for the 128 gig phone or $1,300 for the 512 gig phone if you really need that much storage, which I don't know why. I've installed every app that I had on every phone before it. I actually had the Samsung. Um, S7 Active, which is this phone, um, waterproof, mil spec. I still put a case on it, but um, this one, I, I kind of felt like I needed a case for it. But it's very thin. If you see the two phones um, side by side, don't know how well you can see that here, but there's a big difference in uh, thickness here. Even, and obviously, a big difference in screen size. So that S7 versus the Note Note 9, um, and then of course the S Pen. The uh, the S7 Active is IP68 certified, which most of the Samsung phones have been that. The uh, Note 9 is also certified, but the iBlazon is actually uh, military spec 810 uh, tested. Which means drop protection up to, um, what did it say? Um, hang on. The iBlazon Aries full body dual layer protective case built in screen protector says best of both worlds when it comes to stylish clear case with full body protection. Built in screen protector buttons and have multiple layers of the TPU and the bumper so you'll survive the occasional drop without sustaining damage. Slim profile. Um, See, there's all the different options. Where's the actual specs? 2.88 ounces. I swear it said it was actually um, mil spec. Hang on. 360 degree protection. This kind of looks like a scratch resistant raised bezel. So if you drop it on its face, it's not going to break. So it's raised up. So the screen's protected even if it does hit. On the screen protector, um, works with wireless charging cases. They got a video on it too. It 
it's um, pretty good as far as the um, the ports. I don't think you can see that, but we still get to the uh, the speaker there, the the microphone, all the ports in the bottom. The S Pen still is easily uh, accessible, mostly, except I have big fingers and often struggle getting the S Pen out. Anyway, all right, but you can see I was able to do it and able to reinsert it just like so. Let's uh, so the it's a USB C charging cable, so there's a little bit of play. And the uh, end here, so you put the USB C cable in. Just that simple, it's connected. Also, the phone came with a micro, um, I'm sorry, a full size USB to C adapter. So if you needed to plug this in and, and plug it into the adapter to charge it on a, your computer, like so, for example, my Alienware does that. Um, that's an option. It also does work with the wireless charging pads from a couple years ago, the Samsung wireless charging pad does work it works well it charges very fast it's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and of course it works with the standard uh, fast charging brick there so what do I think um, I'm I'm very much in love with this phone it's a great phone I wanted the bigger screen I, I, I forgot how much I actually missed the note pen the S pen um, I, I'm not an artist by any means, and I, I love to draw, you know, things that probably a fourth grader or fifth grader could draw. But um, with this pen, I'm, I'm motivated to try and do new things. You'll notice that the case does allow you to use the headphone jack with it. It's not a funky um, setup there, so that's easy. The only hard part is it's not super intuitive for taking it off, so you want to be sure you get it on, but it does have good precise cutouts for all the sensors the uh, iris sensor the screen unlocked face unlock so it does work um, unlocks just fine I do find myself hitting the Bixby button which is the button that's uh, lower here below the volume rocker so honestly don't use Bixby so couldn't really care less but um, that's my thoughts so uh, again the price of the uh, the iBlazing was $16.99. Let me see if it's, it's got any better on Honey or not. Um, it did change. We'll see what the price. It's so now $17.99, but it's I mean still, for, as opposed to $50, it's a steal. Um, and the fact that it's double layer protection, it's hard to find that in that cheap of a case, especially for this phone. So you want to protect your phone. It's a good option. Um, I'll probably have a review of some other uh, phone cases that are that I, I've looked at one well, maybe maybe I'll test them out maybe I will um, I've been very rough on my, my this phone I've used it underwater I've used it in the pool I've used it at the beach um, I live on the beach just about so um, it's done very well even without a case it's I had no problems so I've been very very impressed it's been very good on drop protection we'll see if the note holds up the same on drop protection because it's got an all glass back and I mean even he's put it in a case so we'll see but really hopeful hope you guys enjoyed this hopefully it was insightful hopefully you maybe learned a thing or two uh, if you got questions message me definitely check out the rest of the channel watch the videos comment like subscribe and we'll catch you as always next time thank you